are you guys doing? Um, girl, it's time for another chit chat video. In this chit chat video, I'm gonna be adding more beads to my hair, y'all. I'm gonna be keeping my hair in twist for six weeks. And um, girl, what are you doing? Where are my rubber bands at? Okay, hold on, y'all. Gotta make sure I got everything here. Oh, hell. The rubber chip bands just... I know, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. We're going to be going... Girl, you just... We're going to be going for brunch this morning, JB and I. That's why I'm getting cute. And then we're going to go to a bookstore. Y'all, my baby and I, we're nerds. He's going to get gaming stuff. I'm going to get some more books. So, y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Yeah, girl, we're going to get right into it because I ain't got a lot of time. So, um, my husband went back to Kansas. Let's go ahead and take this hair down. My husband went back to Kansas. And um, he's been gone for a week now. Yeah, he's been gone for a week. We decided, meaning JB and I decided, we're gonna drive up there and help him to come back in June. Yeah, so y'all, I gotta make sure now, if I had time, I would go through with my drill and drill some, make these holes a little bit bigger, but I just wanna make sure that they look okay. And I also wanna make sure that, you know, I'm making design, the design, I want it to be, you know, cute. So I'm just looking at what's here and making sure that everything looks okay. So yeah, y'all, he was here for a little bit. We ate out a lot. When I tell you we ate out a lot, well, we had a really good time doing what we do. And what else is going on? Um, I told y'all in my vlog that I went to go get fitted for contacts and the optometrist, is that, that's how y'all pronounce it? The optometrist was like, uh oh, y'all. Shit. So you got to be careful with that because, excuse my language, y'all. You got to be careful with that because technically, this. Ooh, that one's too big. Let me stop. Now I need to be careful that I don't rip my hair. We're just going to do three. Anyway, he's like, um, I think you need bifocals. First of all, and he's written to me, so his last name was Tran. First of all, Tran, I don't even know. I don't. I'm not here for bifocals. I'm here for contact lenses. I don't know if you. And I literally reminded him a couple of times. So he went on through with the the eye exam, right? Y'all know how he do. Uh, how they do? Uh, is one better, two better? He's like one, two, one. He did that about half a dozen times, right? And then he's like, okay, for you, you just one bifocal. I'm not here for no. I said, oh, okay. Sin chow, thank you, come on. It's so, <laughs> so I'm like, mm -mm. nobody asked you for all that. So then he's like, um, for you, you you get daily. You Do you wanna go to uh, contacts forever? First of all, no one said anything about forever trans. I want it for, I told him I just want it for cosmetics. I have like six pair of glasses. I want some for cosmetic reasons. Child, he had a lot of questions, like a lot of questions. But it's interesting to see how things, I, I, and I ask questions, you guys, depending on what's going on. So I asked him about JB. I said, you know, my husband and I, we have a little boy. Of course, since we both were blind, our little boy started wearing glasses at a young age. He's like, yes, yes. So I'm like, yeah, the devil is a lie. But he started wearing glasses at a young age. Like JB's wearing, wearing glasses, y'all, since he was eight years old. But he's not, they're almost like readers, which is so cute. So he said that they now have a new technology. It's almost like braces for your eyes where you wear these things every now and then and it can literally correct your vision. I'm like, wow, he'll be wearing glasses. <laughs> but I think that's so cool, huh? So I, I need to remind JB, he said too that his vision is may get worse as he gets bigger you know, his eyes are going to be getting bigger, of course, because he's still growing. He's just, you know, 11 years old. So I had to remind JB, you need to be wearing your glasses a lot more than you are now. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying not to. Ooh, ooh. Okay, there we go. 
what else is going on child like i said i'm finally losing the weight i am working out even if it's like a quick uh 10 12 minute on the treadmill i am doing it you know my goal is to work out four to five times a week um so yeah i i, I lost all that weight i gained when my husband was here child because it don't be cute it don't be cute um hold on y'all i gotta double triple tie this up what else is going on oh getting some hardware on for our cabinets i'm gonna leave that right there bought some hardware for the cabinets why is it so hard to find help y'all like i literally have reached out to three people finally got a response from someone and these are people that live in a neighborhood right that i i just reached out on our facebook group and it's taking days for them to respond to me and i i'm a type of person maybe it's just me we'll just say that it's just me I'm still waiting on someone to just say, okay, I can come this time. And I'm like, waiting. I'm like, by this time I get someone to tell me I could have done the stuff myself, but I'm short. I'm little. Um, I can't reach it. So I'm excited to have the hardware put on because, uh oh, hold on y'all. There we go. I'm excited to put the heart, have the hardware put on because having touching the these white cabinets it's just it makes it too dirty i mean i had to literally steam the cabinets because i cook a lot y'all i had to steam them the other day which is okay i don't mind that y'all like these nails my nail technician picked up the color i need to get them done again what else is going on um okay so your girl <laughs> your girl invested and stocks now hear me out y'all this camera y'all i so i was in a we had like some type of class in high school that was like an elective where you were part you were a part of um a group where you did stock exchanges you trade you were trading and my group was the top and we went to almost like regionals and we competed against kilgore y'all kilgore beat our ass though so we <laughs> We only lasted to, to Kilgore and that was it. They won. But I've always had an interest in stocks and all that. And so Reddit, um, those you don't know, I am uh I, I do contract work for Reddit too, and they went public. And so now is a good time to purchase anything like that. And so I did, you know, I had a little extra money. And so I purchased from Reddit, Xerox. Shout out to the age of Adelon <laughs> and Six Flags. And so I asked JB, JB is my financial advisor, right? So I asked JB, I'm like, JB, what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea to um to invest in Reddit? He was like, mm -mm. he's like, you too young. To, I mean, no, he said you too old to be risking stuff. First off, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask you for all that. I asked you, child, he read me. And so I said, well, what about Xerox? He's like, Xerox, his old ass, Xerox is okay. I'm like, okay, JB. I I, I hear you. I hear y'all. Is that enough, y'all? I'm not sure if I should put some anywhere else. We're going to let that hang while I continue to talk. That. I could put one or two in the back, but I don't want to do that because I'm going to keep these in a while. This is cute, huh? Why do I feel like I'm short? Girl, because you are. I want to sit up. This is cute. So let me put this up, y'all. So yes, I am invested in the stock market. And my goal is, stock market girl, is to continue to pay off my debt, but also invest. And for the longest, I was like, I can't do both. However, to Jamie's point, I'm not getting any any younger. I can't do both. Um, and my husband, I was telling my husband what I did last night. He's like, you know, the only way to really make good of it is you if you put a month, some money every month towards some type of stock. Every, well, yeah, every month. I said, you gonna put some of that towards it? I probably he probably would. I'm gonna ask him to give me a hundred dollars every month, and I'll just check it out. Like so, I guess for the next few weeks, I'm going to dive into everything, learn as much as I can about the stock market, and really, really like soak it up. Go brush, go brush your teeth and do your hair. No, go brush your teeth and do your hair. Close the door. I will. So, Jessica, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name all right, Petway. 
This is so sad, you guys. Um, it is so heartbreaking when anybody untimely passes away. And so I was noticing stuff like four or five days ago saying rest in peace to Jessica. So I went to her YouTube channel and I noticed she hadn't posted in about a year. Now it's a little, for the OG, Jessica is, is part of the OG, like the Shari J's, the Janelle. Um, God, there's so many of them. Um, African X for Leo body, the OGs that are either completely gone or they come back and they leave. They border hammer is another one, come back and they leave. So you don't know what's going on with them. You hope that they're well. And sometimes they are on Instagram doing their thing. She had cervical cancer and she was misdiagnosed. She, I guess she was told that it was fibroids and come to find out that it wasn't fibroids. And so her symptoms included, she was in pain and she was having, she was hemorrhaging, she was bleeding. Um, by the time they found out that no, it wasn't fibroids, it was actually cancer, it was too late. In the midst of all that, I was hearing people say it and I guess, I don't know if this is true or not in her case, but now they are recommending going to go get a pap smear every three years. Let me tell you something. First off, when did they change that? Can anyone tell me when did they change that? Because, baby, I've been getting a pap smear every year since I was 18 years old. And so, sure enough, right before I did this video, y'all, I went on Google. I, I looked up a couple of things. And it's true. They are still recommending every, it's like two to three years. It's not every year anymore for a pap smear. However, I did come across an article that say, stated that women who get pap smears more often, they have a better chance of um, uh, catching the cancer, basically. So the recommendation, if you've had cervical cancer in the past, um, if you have a low immune system, and there was a couple of other things that they do recommend having a pap smear often. Again, talk to your doctor. I do know when I had my pap smear earlier this year and the gynecologist was like, well, excuse me, she was an actual doctor. I'm going to find me an OBGYN here in Texas. It's getting so hard to make these appointments. But anyway, the doctor who did it, she was like, okay, I'll see you back in two years. And at the first, at first I like, I took it as, Whatever. I didn't know she was kidding. I didn't take it serious is what I'm saying. Because I'm still going gonna, gonna to see you again next next February, Miss Patel. So now they're only recommending it every two to three. If there's anybody, any doctors, I know there's some doctors and nurses who are watching this. Please let me know. When did it change? I just feel like, especially as African-American women, we have to be advocates for our own health. One, two, if you feel like something is off and you feel like you need to go every year, go every year. I'm going every year for my mammogram. I'm going every year for my pap smear until I'm until I'm like 65. Like, seriously, I'm doing it. I, I'm not going to stop doing that for me personally. Um, so it's just very, very sad to, to know that she passed away from something that could have been avoided. <sighs> so, you know, prayers to her family. Other things I'm watching on YouTube, true crime, child, true crime. Um, uh, let's talk about Beyonce. I shared on my community page, Beyonce on a white horse, clouded up, red, red, white, and blue, holding a flag. And you write, uh, my Habasha sister, Salam, you write, Sarah, She's giving me Trump 2025. She's giving me, you know, political power. I mean, Beyonce's getting on my damn nerves, to be honest. So I'm just going to be honest, y'all. And that's sacrilegious being from Texas to say that you're not a fan. I'm really not a big fan of Beyonce. I'm really not. I mean, is she talented? Absolutely. There's no denying that. But what was really like, and it is... It's really not Beyonce. It's the Beehive. They really be getting on my nerves. But for y'all, to it really, I tried to ignore it. I saw the comments. I was looking at the comments when she made, she got her little, not her little, let's just be honest. She has a, a country album. Is it a country album? Was it just a country song? Baby, see, I don't even know. You have tons of people in the Beehive. They were like, oh, Beyonce put me on country music. You got people sharing other black country artists. And I'm like, wow. Beyonce is making a way for a black country. No, we, there have been 
a section of us, a group of us, who have been listening to country music for 20... Let me tell you something. Uh, Reba McIntyre, Faith Hill, not Faith Evans, Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, Garth Brooks. I'm a redneck woman. Y'all, let me tell you something. Does he love you like he loves me? Like he loves me. Does he think of you? Whose bed have your boots been under? Whose heart did you steal? I wonder. Hey, pretty woman, won't you give me a sign? I give everything to make you mine on mine. I do my bid and big as you back and call. Oh, I've never seen anyone looking so fine, man. I gotta have her. She's a one of a kind. I'm going once, going twice. I'm sold to the lady in the second row. She's an eight, she's a nine, she's a ten. I know she can. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I, I'm not even gonna get into Dolly Parton. I'm not gonna get into the, the Judd sisters. We there are there are some of us in the black community, African Americans, that have been listening to country music. We are. A, I love country music. Now, country music now is a little. Uh, but and there there have been have y'all not heard of Aaron Neville? There have been black country artists, okay? So Beyonce did not introduce me to to country music. So yeah, so that's a pass, hard pass, girl. TV. What I'm watching on TV before I leave YouTube. Do y'all know there are so many free movies on YouTube? Which kind of goes into what I've been watching on TV, sort of kinda. Karina, Karina. Drop Dead Fred, that old and set your ass flowers in the attic is on there. What else? I'll put some, the Skeleton Key, y'all. I started to watch the Skeleton skeleton Key, excuse me, and then I got scared. That has a judge, is that a judge sister on there too? No, that's not her. That's somebody else. No. All right, y'all. What I'm watching on TV, honestly, not a lot because there are certain things that I'm waiting back on. I'm waiting back for Bridgerton. I'm waiting for The Handmaid's Tale, which are coming, I thought, this year, the end of this year. But I did watch, finally watched the whole Chris Watts story, the, the documentary. Very, very sad. Wait for it. So besides that, y'all, I'm rambling. I need to tell Jamie to put on his clothes. We're going to go eat. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, as always, to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.